guys, Thorn here. Welcome back to a brand new video. Now today we've got a very simple video. We've already made a video on our top 10 clubs we'd love to play for. Now let's do the opposite and switch things up. Let's both go away and pick 10 clubs that we would hate to play for. It's gonna get proper naughty, isn't it? Let's get straight into it. With our light targets. Oh, okay. With our light target. <laughs> and you know what, we put a lot of effort into yep. this. 6,000. Oh my god. We're more likely to get 6,000 dislikes. We're about yeah. to pick 10 clubs we're not playing for. <laughs> Number 10 is Coventry City. What? And that is no disrespect to the fans. This is solidarity with the fans right. against the owners. Because you, Coventry City owners, you've messed around a great club for too long. They've become gypsies of the football league, playing all over the place, and that's not right. I wouldn't take the money of Sisu. At first you said Coventry, you worried me, but your reasoning is very good, Thog Dad. Let's go to my 10th place, and I've gone for Forest Green Rovers. Now the reason I wouldn't play for them is because... I like a meat pie too much, Thog Dad. I miss a sausage roll. I love a steak with hollandaise sauce. I can't beat it, lad. <laughs> Leo, Dale Vence is never going to have us back. I, I don't even care. Dad, I'm sorry. I just love a steak and ale pie at half time too much. You can't stop me from that. Mate, I love their veggie pies and their veggie beer. It's a great club. Listen, you know what, Dad? I'll eat it once, but <laughs> eat it for a few years. They slap me on a three-year contract. I'm out the door in the first January transfer window. I'm the opposite. I'd play 500 games for Forest Green. I'd spend my whole career there. I love a veggie pie. Boring. Get Timing. in the bin, dog. Dad. Tell me in the comments which clubs would get in your top ten as well. My ninth place is Miasa, Spartak Moscow of Ooh, Russia. Guess what? That's my ninth place no, too. No, it's not. Now we go away and we don't agree on anything. That is ludicrous. But we've both gone for CSK Moscow in our ninth position. And as a Zenit fan, yeah. no way would I pull on the red and white shirt of Spartak Moscow. No way. Exactly. I mean, if you don't know, uh, my mum's from St. Petersburg. St. Petersburg have one club and that's Zenit. And their rivals are CSK Moscow. So there's no way I am playing for that football club. I picked CSK. Oh shit, did you? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> you pick Spartak, I pick CSK. Zenit hate both clubs, so yeah, they're both playing red as well, so it's a yeah. little bit confusing. Next time we go to Moscow, we're watching our backs, aren't we, Theo? Oh, God. Eighth place, I've gone with Blackburn Rovers of wow. Lancashire. Okay. Now, you know, I've got some respect for the club, believe it or not. They were founded in 1888, and they were one of the 12 founding members of the Football League. Right. And you know what? They've won the FA Cup six times, they've won the, the top title three times. But why I don't like them, partly of the rivals of Bolton. What is it? It was the money of Jack Walker that bought them the title in 1995. Now, contrast them with Leicester. When Leicester won the title in yeah. 2016, everyone was happy, weren't they? The yeah. underdogs had won it. Yeah. When Blackburn won it, it was just, uh, it was all because of money. Oh, you know? was it? Because this is a really funny Thog Dad fact. When Blackburn won the league, they were managed by Kenny Daglish. Mm. And one day, Kenny Daglish went to the owner, Jack Walker, and he's like, Jack, I've just discovered this young French player called Zinedine Zidane. Can we buy him? And Jack Walker turned to him and said, We've got Tim Sherwood. Why do you want this bloody Zinedine Zidane? My eighth place is a British club, Hull City. Maybe it's because we've had bad memories there and we lost like seven, six nil there. But mainly, again, it's because of the owners. And yeah. also, it's just too far from home. We live in London. Yeah. If I played for Hull, it would be too far from home. They don't fill their ground. If you're a Hull City fan, I really hope you bounce back with better owners. Moving on to seventh place, <laughs> we're taking a trip <laughs> to China. <laughs> I wonder if you've gone for it, Doc Dad. Because my seventh place is Wuhan Zoll Football Club. Mm, founded I in 2009, yeah. yeah. And you know what? They were sixth last year in the yeah. Chinese league. Really? But the reason I wouldn't want to go there is, you know, I, I, would, I wouldn't really trust the food served up in the canteen, if you know yeah. what I mean. Yeah, I don't want to know no, what's no. on their menu at half time. And I'm not, style. And serious point, I'm not mad keen on those wet markets. I mean, you've been to China, haven't you, Theo? Nah, I've been to the markets. It's disgusting, I'm yeah. telling you right now. My seventh place, I'm going to have to get out my phone for this because I need to get the pronunciation right. <laughs> Rovaniemen Polasura FC. <laughs> Now, this is a Finnish club from Finland, right? Yeah. And they are the, officially, the coldest football club in Europe. And there's absolutely no way I am playing for them. <laughs> yeah. Because as a footballer, for me, weather is a massive thing. I love going on holidays. Yeah. I love going to Spain, Portugal. The weather's amazing most time. But there's no way you're seeing me play for this club in my career. <laughs> the thing is, when you live in a cold country, shot of vodka, bit of a sauna, you'd be all right. Mm, yeah, don't fancy it. In sixth place, I've gone for Milton Keynes Dons. Oh. My problem is, is that they stole the name, the trophies, and the history of another club, Wimbledon Football Club. 
yeah wow. and that's not the fault of the young fans today i'm not having a go at you your so-called history is in a different city is in south london ah the comment section <laughs> yeah you can already see this video on twitter yeah <laughs> my sixth place i've gone for wigan athletic and uh, it's pretty obvious why I, I couldn't play for wigan athletic being a baltimore wonder supporter even on their derby day they don't fill it and it's like it's just not appealing, yeah. is it, for a footballer? So I was growing up in the 70s and Wigan was a rugby town. And I respect Wigan yeah. as a rugby as town. As a rugby town, yeah. yeah. But Wigan Athletic did not become a league team until the 70s. Yeah. And I've never really seen them as a football team. In fifth place, I've gone with Brest. Dynamo Brest. Of course, there's... Who the, are they? There are two Brests. There's FK Rue Brest <laughs> and there's Dynamo Brest of the Belarusian field. What's the matter? <laughs> it's disrespecting Belarusian football. <laughs> Talk that is spoken. And my fifth place is pretty much any Saudi league club. I've just gone oh. for Al Hilal, but mainly it would be too Ooh. much of a culture clash for me. I I don't think I could go to Saudi Arabia, live there, and enjoy it. I just think it's too yeah. too different yeah. to England. I don't really stand for you know what I've heard, what's happened. I know that they're basically they're buying Newcastle at the moment, but I just don't agree with what's going on in Saudi Arabia at times. It's funny how I make a joke about breasts, and Theo makes a serious political point, but yeah. in. But in, sometimes in football, you have to make moral judgments. Yeah. And what Theo says is very fair. Now, my fourth place team yeah. has got a pie as a mascot. What? Krusty the Pie. Now, for me, there's only one Krusty, and that's Krusty the Clown from yes. The Simpsons. Agreed. Wigan Athletic. There we go. We've done it already. We've both done it. We've spoken We're not about going them. to Wigan. Sorry, lads. It's not happening. It's yeah. simply not happening. I have picked Arsenal as my fourth place. Oh. That's controversial. Oh, wow. And you know why? And, and, and honest to God, you know, there's a lot of massive clubs I play for, and a lot of you will say, oh, yeah, I, I bet you'd still play for Arsenal if you got a contract. And you're probably right, mate, but to be honest, this is a YouTube video, and I'm going to put it out there. The reason I question making a move to Arsenal, especially if I had the opportunity to go to another club of the same stature, is I don't really like the way the fans have treated certain situations, like with Granit Xhaka, yeah. the captain of their club, the man who's been there for a few years, and most of the time gives 100% for the club. All right, he may not be the best of players at times, but never, ever should you boo your own captain on the football pitch when all he's trying to do yeah. is give you the best for his club. Absolutely. And it's the same with Ozil, the way they booed him and, and slurred, thrown slurs at him because he's, all right, maybe misplaced a few passes. Everyone has an off game. There's no need to put them down when they're subbed off. Yeah. And I, I just don't like the treatment they've got. I mean, mainly Granit Xhaka. We all know what I'm talking about. Yeah. I think it's a great stadium. They've got great facilities. And Arsenal has the potential to be a massive club. But they have their toxic fans. The only time when you should criticise your players is if they're not trying. Yeah. Paul Pogba. Ooh. Yeah. Third place, CSKA Sofia. Ooh. Winner of the Bulgarian title 31 times. Now we've been to their ground. We have. And all around their ground there are horrible stickers. We'll put it on the screen. They we? are anti-Semitic. They are racist. They yeah. are horrible. I don't really think much needs to be said. No. My third place now is Wuhan Zol FC hey. from the Chinese <laughs> Super League. And wow. it had to be. I, they've started a virus that's put the whole globe on lockdown for two months. It stopped me going to football games. Yeah. We had so much planned. And it's killed so many people. Yeah. And I'm sorry, you're not getting away with this, lads. Pep Guardiola's mum's passed away. Yeah. That hit me hard. Yeah. You know, I'm at, like, it's such a horrible situation. Second place. This is getting serious now. Right, I'm going with a club in Italy who famously got nasty fascist fans. Not all of them, but some of them. Mm. It is Lazio. Oh God! No, I can Don't still imagine you. that Don't picture of Paolo Di Canio doing a horrible Nazi salute. I can remember when Spurs went there in 2012 and there was shocking violence and anti-Semitism. There's been monkey chants. There's All I can say is don't show Josh Fusion. He yeah. won't be a fan of that. No. He recently went to a game, one Did of the last games before Corona, yeah. and he loved it. They've got history as one of the biggest football clubs in the world. And they play in a huge ground, which they share with Roma, of course, because yes. they share stadiums there. That could be such a great football club if that tiny minority decide to grow up. Now, uh, who's your second place, Theo? My second place is a club that you put in third place, CSK Sofia. Really? And it comes from the heart, really. It's shocking yeah. what we yeah. saw in oh. person. Yeah. It, it, it's disgusting. We went to England versus Bulgaria, or should I say Bulgaria versus England. Yes. We flew into Sofia, and what we saw that day is something we definitely didn't expect. Now we're on to our top one, first place. Who have you picked? I have picked April the 25th, Sporting Club of North Korea. Oh my God, you've gone the, for a club in North Korea? I have, I've gone for the guys who won the championship 22 times. <laughs> And they are like the military club, and their big rivals are the police club. Wow. North Korea is one of the most 
poor, evil, corrupt, horrible, repressive <sighs> regimes on earth. I'm not surprised you picked the club in North Korea, to be honest. I wasn't expecting it, but I'm not surprised <laughs> you said it. And now, my first place is also corrupt, but it's a corruption in a country that shouldn't have it. Yes. And that's Turkey. A football club called Basak Sahir are currently second in the league, yeah. have been first in the past. If you don't know about Turkish Super League, they're a league with some massive football clubs in it. Besiktas. Fenerbahce, Galatasaray. Yeah. These are clubs with massive fan bases, bring 30 to 60,000 fans every home game. Now you have this club called Basak Sahir, who's come in, it's government owned. The fact Basak Sahir have come in with money and have literally no fans and have spoilt the integrity of the Turkish Super League is a disgrace and that's why they are my first place. What's the like target today, Dog oh, Dad? 6,000. Oh, it, I mean, like I said, if we hit 6,000, it would honestly mean, a, like, so much because we put a lot of time into these videos. Comment down below who would be in your top 10. Name us a club and why you wouldn't play for them. Enjoy your bank holiday. Thank you very much for watching. See you all later. Bye, guys.